Hello there! This is Something Legal. And today, we will discuss the concept of power. But before we move on to the discussion proper, may I ask you this question? What would you do if you are being chosen by the people to occupy a position in a government and yet no power is being vested upon you? No power to influence people? No power to implement rules or laws? <laughs> That's a no-no situation. Well, Sitting in an office or occupying a position without power is absolutely useless. You are just like a toothless tiger. So how's that? A tiger with no teeth? That's rude. Now, let's put this in the context of power relative to politics. Now, what is the concept of power? Politics always involve the use of power in getting things done. It is considered as a key ingredient in politics that often implies control and has something to do with influence and authority. Power based on its nature can be subdivided into four, namely power over, power to, power with, and power within. Power over is the ability to dominate another person through the use of force, threat, or coercion. Power 2 refers to the unique potential of every person to shape his life. Power with is shared power that grows out of collaboration and relationships. Power within has to do with a person's sense of self-worth and self-knowledge which includes the ability to recognize individual differences while respecting others. Now we move on to the different types of power. Number one is referent power. It is the power holder's ability to persuade or influence others. You use this power when you use your status as a role model to get one or more followers to take some kind of action. President Duterte is an example of someone with referent power, having millions of supporters. These people respect him and want to know what he's up to. Some even aspire to be like him. In this respect, he has referent power over his supporters. Number two is expert power. It is derived from the power holder's specific skills or expertise. Expert power works because subordinates clearly have the perception that your expertise as a leader will guide you to make the right decision. Here, power comes from the subordinate's belief that their manager or leader possesses expert skills or knowledge that they do not themselves possess. Number three is legitimate power. Legitimate power comes from the power holder's position and duties within an organization. So when you say legitimate power, it is the power you derive from your formal position or office held in an organization. For example, the president has certain powers because of the office he holds in the government and this was being granted by the Philippine Constitution. Number four is coercive power. It arises from the power holder's ability to punish or penalize others. This power is obtained through threatening others. For example, when an employee carries out an order under fear of losing their job or their annual bonus, in effect, they are forced to perform the task. Number five is reward power. It comes from the power holder's ability to give something of value such as money, responsibility, or praise. Reward power is defined by the use of a reward to get a subordinate to follow an instruction. The reward offered can be either tangible such as a prize or intangible such as public praise. One of the many advantages of reward power is the anticipation of a reward 
can encourage employees to work hard to achieve the reward. However, giving a reward to an employee, particularly if done regularly, can cause them to expect similar rewards in the future. This reduces the power of the reward as employees begin to see it as simply part of their regular compensation. Now, moving on, please take note that one of the positive effects of power is boosting of people's morals and encouraging them to achieve their goals. But people who gain power tend to put themselves ahead of others that they react negatively if their power and competence are being questioned. Now to end this up, I would like to share a quote from Mahatma Gandhi which says, The day the power of love overrules the love of power, the world will know peace. Thank you for listening. Till next time, we'll get through this class. Bye!